Peace and love, family, love and light. I was speaking to my babies on Instagram today. And I asked you guys to pick a word off of my story. Everybody resonated with the word inner child. So we're going to be doing an inner child reading today. It's fire. I just, I love how vibrant and bright fire is. Let's go ahead and light an incense. My incense correlate with the chakras and I'm thinking this one is giving like heart chakra. Just because whenever I think of the inner child, I think of love. And I think of how, how pure children are and children see the best in everybody, you know? So to think that we were all children at a point in time means that we all have the capability to have positive, pure, loving intentions. It's just really about finding ourselves and understanding what our inner child is requiring of us. That's what we're gonna get into today. I know if you're here, you probably get some type of healing. Everybody needs some type of healing. Sure, we all been through some stuff. We could all be better people. We could all give more. Ooh, this smoke looks so pretty. Wait, I wish I could have seen that. Maybe I'll just see it. It's like, it looks pink because it's in front of the light. Mm, okay. I'm setting the intention of allowing love to be in this space. We are creating a love vibration. We are creating a light vibration. We are allowing ourselves to tap into our past events. We are allowing ourselves to be vulnerable. We are allowing ourselves to be present. We're allowing ourselves to be creative and receiving and giving and in a space of true high vibrational energy. That's it. A little incense holder. It was a gift and it's, it's the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna cleanse a little bit of the energy for you guys. My selenite, I believe. But the intention of this is to purify energy, send love, to be clear-minded, to give high vibrations. So this is the crystal I want to kind of put in your face today, allow you to feel the energy, allow you to be in alignment. I'm going to play my sound bowl for you guys, just to give you guys a little bit of clarity. allow this to be my space to see clearly the message for me to portray to these people allow my mouth to translate this message clearly and allow my throat to speak nothing but positive truthful energy to create progression for the collective consciousness all we gotta do is to say our prayer and then we are good to start this message dear most high we come to you today with gratitude we come to you today with allowing me, we come to you today with gratitude. We thank you for allowing me to convey this message. And we ask that as I speak these words onto these people, onto the person receiving this, that they allow it into their space, into their energy field. I ask that you allow me into their energy space to translate what they need to hear, to be where they need to be. I ask that you allow me to be a vessel of love, a vessel of light, a vessel of knowledge, a vessel of progression for this person. I ask that they take this message and they apply it onto their life. I ask that they only see the truth. I ask that they only see your image. I ask that they receive this message for their highest good and they are inspired to go out and do what they're meant to do on this earth while they're here at this time. We trust your light. We trust your guidance. In your name we say, I say. Okay, y'all. That's a good prayer. I usually do this after I pray anyways, but... I was so excited to pull cards, I didn't even try to anoint my hands. Today, I'm going to be pulling for my healing energy oracle card, or deck. <laughs> I am a little bit nervous. I was trying not to claim my energy, but it's my first time reading for my channel. So, kind of like, I want it to be perfect. I want everything to work out. You know, be able to let you guys receive this message. 
So we're going to be pulling six different cards with six different questions. And the first question that we are going to ask the divine is, what is the current state of this person's inner child? Ooh. Okay. We already got our first card. Our first card says divine light. I'm an expression of love and I shine like the sun. My inner light is my strength and my treasure. My intuition guides me to discover the wonder and the goodness of who I am. So this card right here is confirmation, pure confirmation that you are a light being. You are here to show the goodness of this earth, which we most definitely need at this time. Um, I'm feeling the vibration of you being a person who is somewhat the the unspoken center of attention people gravitate towards you easily people enjoy your presence people are thankful for you being in their life and i'm very 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 channeling the message of like like main character energy but not main character egotistically main character financially and spiritually and main character in a sense of your role in a lot of people's life is to be guidance for them you are a lot of people's example of of motivation or progress or even just a good person like when people think of a good person you're probably one of the first people that comes into their head so this is something that you've been given since you were a child um i'm assuming that your childhood was very playful very colorful i can feel that you were surrounded by a lot of love um and that love has been embedded into you deeply it hasn't gone anywhere it can't go anywhere it can never be taken from you next card is going to be your current impact how is your inner child currently feeling the card we got was courage um it is saying i am stronger than fear and bigger than doubt I am light and I remain light. I trust in God and stand tall before the test of life. I grow and become wiser through every challenge. I am a being of new life. Your inner child, listen, cannot be played with, never has been played with, never will be played with, okay? You know what you are here to do. You know you are here to achieve your goals. You know who you are at root and nobody can take that from you. A lot of us have egotistical blockages and we don't like to admit when things are hard we don't like to admit that we're going through a hard time nor do we want to claim a bad time or a hard time because it's hard to speak it's hard to connect to other people sometimes we feel alone but the divine wants you to know that you have the courage you have the energy you have the strength you have the team you have the finances you have everything you need to get to where you're supposed to be at regardless of what this physical matrix is showing you i don't care if you have zero dollars in your account i don't care if you're twenty five thousand dollars in debt i don't care if you have been in the worst position you've ever been in you still have that courage that courage is planted deep inside of you and nobody can ever take that from you understand me when i say that that courage is deep inside of you and no one can ever take that from you okay this next card is going to be about how you can heal the wounds that your inner child is carrying damn i'm not gonna lie i usually pull cards and it takes a couple shuffles but this message is very intentional because like they're just coming out like back to back to back to back so this one is saying shining light my desire to improve myself transforms and transforms fear into strength i raise my thoughts above doubt and find faith in the goodness of the universe i love and accept myself as a soul and i discover the light that dwells in me i've had the word light pop up for you guys for every single card i've pulled the first one was divine light, second one was courage, but it talked about your light being unique. And now this is shining light. You are here to do light work and it makes sense that you're on this video because I'm a person who is with that same mission. I'm here to create light energy. I'm here to bring love, genuine love, and not to make it about me, but from reflection to reflection, I've been in a space where I've had to not allow the challenges of earth or this world to, to compress my light and to dim it um if you ever look at a candle really good example candle has light but when a candle is being suffocated and you take the lid and you cover it the light starts to compress and it'll naturally go out but it can always be reborn so all i'm saying is if you are this light this candle represents the earth and this represents fear doubt challenges it could be like this but it's not going to take out your light because I promise you, you are here to, to spread this light onto a million other candles. 
and light up the whole entire world. This makes me think about a tattoo. I want to get like a light inspired tattoo because I really, I love that word. I love, I love, I think, I think of the Bible and how like the first words were let there be light and everything just went into full effect. And we're here to be light. We're here to be love. We're here to create a love vibration, specifically you. Get into how to nurture your inner child. The card I got was transformation. I am constantly evolving. I improve inwardly by working on my weaknesses and refining my strengths. Life ensures me I'm presented with situations that will help me learn and grow. I'm aware of my progress and open my wings to the light. <laughs> we got the word light again. I'm like, I can't make this up. <laughs> you, it's healing time. It's time for you to step out of whatever fear, whatever doubt. Um, I'm hearing hobbies. I'm hearing habits. Um somebody needs to get active we should be reflecting on what we're eating um and really who we're around um so we we experience this life on vibrations and this isn't to say that anyone is a negative or a positive vibration but sometimes you can be up here and the people you're around is down here and there's nothing wrong with that because life is like this sometimes we go up we go down we go up we go down but you could be in a space where someone who is down here right now is pulling you down there with them and it's not because they're a bad energy source it's not because they have bad juju none of that but they're just on a different path than you and that's okay people can be on different paths but you need to make sure that you're prioritizing what you're supposed to be doing so with this card transformation i want you to reflect on how do you spend your days what do you do when you wake up what do you listen to what do you eat what makes you feel powerful how much do you take care of yourself what do you do to take care of yourself um my my advice to you would be to start some type of like self-care routine and stick to it, a regimen do it every day wake up and look forward to it whether it's skincare whether it's going on a 10 minute run whether it's journaling whether it's sitting and crying do something to release that energy that's really inside here because your inner child is asking you to tap back into whatever they enjoy doing next card is how to connect to your inner child attention i'm attention to all that manifests within me the negativity rises within me i transform it into light <laughs> light l-i-g-h-t that's the word of the video like love and hope my goals for others is unconditional i forgive my dad my desire to improve is constant i am firm brave and hardworking. i want you to take a pen and a pencil and write down all your goals and then I want you to write down one thing you could do to work towards that goal every day. If your goal is to lose 25 pounds, write the goal to walk 15 minutes every day. Start small. Start small. Don't do too much. Don't try to overload yourself. Put seven things on your plate at once. But all you have to do is focus on it, baby. That's it. Meditate, pray, and routine. And you got it use meditation to visualize what do you want for yourself get specific get details get visuals use prayer to speak it into life to connect with the most high allow him to guide it allow him to align it for you and routine so you can start building the momentum build the action watch it manifest through your work through your actions through your presence through your being and it's there it's really there I can tell that whoever I'm reading this for is y'all know what y'all gotta get done. This is this is nothing new. I mean, I don't really, I don't really think that this is this is new information. I I believe this is a reminder. Um, you need to remember who you are, where you came from, and why you started working towards what you were working towards. When your inner child chose the path that you were on, when it made the decision to work towards. The specific goal you're thinking about or accomplishment remember why remember what grew that passion remember what brought you to that space remember what experiences motivated you to get to that end goal because that's going to keep you going and this last card which is the message your inner child needs you to remember not wants you but needs you so oh goodness I overcome my imperfections, polish my character, and feed the positive. Thus, I feel free. Thus, I free myself, allow my goodness to manifest and become a source of joy. Through gentleness, I offer unconditional support, understanding, and love to myself and others. 
your inner child needs you to remember to put that light energy first. Don't let this mold, don't let this world try to mold you into something you're not. You know, whenever you're younger and your mom's like, if so and so fall off of a fall off of a cliff, are you gonna do it? If they gonna jump off a cliff, you gonna jump too? Your child like, don't jump, don't jump. That's not even our energy. That's not where you're supposed to be at. You know who you're supposed to be at. Don't fall into things you know you're not supposed to. If you know you're not a drinker, don't drink. <laughs> if you know you're not a smoker, don't smoke. If you know you're not a party person, if you know you should be home with your person, stay home with your person. If you know you're not supposed to be out with them people, don't hang out with them people. Because one thing about you, you're never going to get off your path with them lessons. They're going to manifest. When God don't play about you, he's going to show you how you were here for a purpose. You're here for a reason. And when you try to walk outside of what you're created here to do, it comes it comes with its consequences. That's all I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> light energy, baby. You can't do nothing but light energy. That's what you're here to do. Some of us are here from the dark. Some are here from the light. You are light. I, I believe we all have light and dark in us, though. Um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a rant. But, yeah, you, we're talking about you. You are here for the light. You are here for the light. You are here to be a part of the light. You are here to be connected to the light. And the way that you're going to manifest what you want, where you're supposed to be at, is through the light. So, please remember to continue to walk through faith. Walk with the Most High. Remember to continue to to be be the reason why somebody smiles every day you get somebody a compliment you get somebody a reason to worry less nurture somebody guide somebody help somebody assist somebody even if it's yourself even if it's yourself be be the reason why somebody does better and it'll manifest we will end this off with one card from this oracle deck which is daily guidance from your angels steady progress mm, i've never seen this card before okay we acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities we can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts feelings and actions of love your angels know you on the right path your angels support you they like listen we know who this is we know their purpose we're gonna make sure that you get it done by all means and baby they're gonna take care of you by all means the people who are here to guide you protect you they don't play about you. God don't play about you. So you just got to understand that it's really up to you. It's up to you and what you're ready to do, what you're ready to give onto this earth. It's up to who you think you could be and whenever you're ready to step into your power. Remember, nobody can take you out of it. You might have to unlearn the routine of being triggered and unlearn the routine of responding to negative energy or lower vibrational energy. But truthfully, it's all up to you. I mean, it's your reality. You you know what you're here to do. You know what you want to do. You know that nothing nothing stopping you. Um, I'm gonna have some notes in the description, link in the description. I'm probably gonna post to my community like a digital form of this. I I think I will just so y'all can read it. Um, I'll keep this up so y'all can listen to it. Cause I know everybody's different. Some people like to see it. Some people like to hear it. So I'll have kind of like notes. I'm not sure if I want to do this in the description or like on a community post. Like I said, it's new. I feel like the community post would be cool for picture wise, but the description might be better for like just the sake of like making sure you guys can reach the link. Listen, I got y'all. It's going to be there. I want to end this off with a prayer just so we can all connect to the divine again. And I'm going to go and edit this video because I'm ready to upload. I'm ready to upload. But there was high. I come to you right now and I want to say thank you. Thank you for the words that you've allowed me to channel from you onto these people. I ask that you allow these words to resonate, allow them to sink and allow them to marinate, allow them to create a strong, strong, strong force field around them, direct them towards this energy, direct them towards helping, direct them towards loving, direct them towards being who they need to be. We give all of our glory, all of our praise, all of our trust, all of our energy onto you. We ask for protection throughout this path. We ask for alignment. We ask for continuous growth. And in your name we say, I say. Okay, guys. That's it for the reading. Thank you guys so much for tapping in. Remember, fear is fake. Fear is an illusion. There's no need for you to worry. There's nothing for you to be fearful of. Everything is working in your favor. And you got this. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, I'll have a couple links to some more resources for me. 
down below and yeah that's really about it check the description out for the the written version of this not written but some notes for you guys to go back and review it um if you watch the video and you want to apply it to your life read the notes read the notes and apply it if you guys want any journal prompts comment down below and i can send you some just ask me what you need and do what you gotta do to push this video out if you resonated with it um help a reflection of you who might need to see it might need to hear the same thing because the goal is for us to raise consciousness the vibration we're trying to create peaceful space so yeah i love y'all mm -hmm. bye